Okay, guys. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and explain you about the Clearplex for your windshield on your car. Come here. So, I have these two cars right here. Let's stay here. I have these two cars here. I have the 2017 Kia Soul, and over here, I have the 2016 Nissan Rogue. Now, on both of them, I put the windshield. As soon as I got, the, I got them from the dealership, zero miles. So I got this one first. This one's been in there for two years and a half with the clear flex on the windshield, the windshield protector film. And this one, I got it a year and a half ago, the 2017 uh, Kia Soul. Also installed it zero miles from the dealership. As soon as I got it, put the windshield, the clear flex windshield protector. So let me, I'm gonna show you on both of them. I'm gonna show you, um, what happens, how to take care of it, how much is, does it cost, is it worth it, yes or no, um, how does it work. So first, let's go ahead and check out the 2016 Nissan Rogue. Here, give me this one. Hold on. <coughs> this is my Rogue. I don't drive this guy a lot. Um, and you can see here, hold on, there to see, this is a film, you can see it there. That plastic that plastic goes all around the windshield I don't know if you can tell but it just goes all around it uh, so it looks pretty good like it has no scratches whatsoever but on this car I only drive the, I don't drive this car a lot this car only has about 8,000 miles I believe let me see I'll tell you, yeah I can see right there 8,363 miles um, now this car has always been in the garage Now, so of course I drove those 8,000 miles on the street. So I uh, take it to my friend's house. They don't have a garage, so I leave it outside. I drive on it. I, I live in Los Angeles, by the way. It doesn't rain here a lot or snow, right? So we don't use our windshield wipers a lot here. Um, now let's go look at this one. This one is my 2017 Kia Soul. And if you can see, I don't know if the camera catches it, but it's a little bit... Like the windshield, the clear flex is already beat up. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you why. It's okay, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, so if I come here to you can see the film here as well. I don't know the camera doesn't catch it a lot, but it's kind of like burnt already, like the sun faded away. So you can see even it's clean, but you can see inside it's a little bit. It's like glare, like if it was raining. I don't know, it does work on the rocks and everything. like this one right here. Let me see if I can focus. No, I don't know. But okay, there's a, there's a little, a rock hit this here. And if the film would have been here, it would have, it would have cracked it for sure. There's a whole bunch of these. This one over here. I can't, I, can't, I don't know. I don't know how to clear it out, but that's one there too. This one here. There's another two right here. Uh, you can barely see it. Oh, see, you can see the film there. It's a little bit foggy. Because it's already old and it's beat up right there. And there's there's a whole bunch everywhere else. Now, uh, let me see over here. Over here, we got a few extra ones here. And here. I know you can't see, but there's another one too here. One here, one there. Maybe one here. Anyways, okay, so it's in the inside to see if to see if you guys can see. This car has a hundred at one hundred twenty-five thousand miles, I believe. Let me show you guys. Yep. So this film has been in my car for one hundred twenty-five thousand miles. Okay, look, I think you can see better now what I'm talking about here in the inside. You see how it how it looks? Like it looks all foggy. That happens because it's already old. Look, the whole scratches. Those scratches that go from from here around. That's from the from the wiper. It goes from here all the way around. You see all these all these lines. A whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of them. That's from the wipers. See these ones here. I mean, it looks worse in person, but just picture it, right? All these lines. Okay. Now let me talk to you. Let me talk to you about this guy right here. 
Okay. Now, um, the warranty on this guy is on the Clearflex. I think the guy said it's about 10,000 miles or a year, whichever comes first. Right? Let's look for me. Whichever comes first. Um, now, the thing pricing. Okay, let's talk about price. It depends. It depends where you live and what car do you have. Okay? So, for example... For example, on these guy, on this one, I think it was like it ranges anywhere from around 400, 450, and all the way up to whatever amount. Just depends on on the car, like I said, because it depends on your windshield. How 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 much does your windshield cost? This windshield costs like six hundred dollars from the from the dealership plus installation is like a thousand dollars. This one for the Nissan Rogue, just the windshield, it's a thousand dollars plus installation and tax. That was around fifteen hundred dollars. So it's about one thousand five hundred, one thousand five hundred, or just this one, probably like a thousand dollars even, and this one. Now the reason why I don't put, you could put aftermarket. This one's aftermarket, like like around two hundred fifty. This one's like three fifty aftermarket. But I don't recommend aftermarket because they're cheaper quality, and sometimes the installers don't put the the new seal that goes around the windshields, and what happens is you will hear a lot of noise, and sometimes water goes inside your car. So I do not recommend the aftermarket windshields, especially if they don't put the, the new seal or if they seal it right after they install the new one, the aftermarket one. So that's why I have my, my film on it. Now, another thing, do I recommend it? Yes. Uh, yes and no, it depends where you live. And what I mean is, do you use a lot of your wipers? This is no a lot, does it rain a lot? And, uh, okay, uh, let me see what else. Okay, car can be terrible. Okay, huh? Okay, so does it work? Yes, of course it does work. Um, so look, let's see this car. I'm going to see this car from the inside. I need to see this guy from the inside. You guys can see the maybe difference on this one. See this windshield? It looks it looks like good. It looks there's like no scratches whatsoever. Right. So that one looks good. So okay. Back to the thing. Okay, so do I recommend it to you? It just depends. It just depends. You know, where, like I said, if you live where it snows a lot or, or, or it rains a lot, and how much do you not want to replace your windshield from your car? Now, um, if you can see on this one, this one's been in. The, so if you say, how long, how long does it last? This guy's had it there for more than one a year, more than this one, right? Two years and a half on this one. And it still looks good. Like you wouldn't even know. If I would tell you that I just got it installed like today, you would believe me on this one. You will believe me because there's nothing wrong with this one on 8,000 miles, two years and a half. And remember that warranty, I think, is like 10,000 miles or one year, whichever comes first. I think 10. I called, I called earlier the guy. He told me 18. I need to go see the website again. When I got it, it was 10,000 miles. Now he said it's 18. So, you know, check you check it out by yourself. This one's only been there a year and a half. So basically on this one since I drove, but, but see, I drove this guy 125,000 miles when it should have only been 10,000 miles. So I should have replaced this guy a long time ago, probably like a year ago, which would have left me like, I don't know, uh, maybe around 80,000 miles, somewhere around there. That one should look good then. It still look, it still look really good. Like it looked okay, it looked used, but it looked good. Not this bad, this, this is really bad. Um, so yes so the whole thing is this if you're gonna have if you're gonna have it installed in your car make sure you have a garage for your car um, or at least shade on your car like a carport or maybe some shade from some trees wherever you work wherever you're gonna go park it for like six eight hours making sure that like I said uh, the, the sun doesn't hit it straight or snow because then you have to use the wipers or I don't know if you scrape the windshield or whatever, that's gonna be bad for the 
for the plastic film for sure so yes uh, so as long as you have a, a garage for it if you have a, a carport or some shade for your windshield you should be fine it's gonna last you long how long I don't know like I said 8,000 miles two years and a half and it still looks good now one of the things that I was thinking this was my daily driver just to let you know I don't have a garage for this guy this guy's been on the street since I got it on my uh, front on my front yard driveway he's been in there day and night sun a little bit of rain every now and then um, no protection whatsoever for the windshield because when I got it I knew I was gonna replace it every year I just extended a little bit more to half more year so that's a year and a half now um, what was the other thing I was gonna say uh, I know I think I forgot but yes See, it does work. It looks great. You can't even tell it's there. You, you, you won't tell it's there. You, you can't tell. Even if you're this close, you, you don't know that there's something protecting my glass. You won't tell. On this one, like I said, of course you can now. But now you can because, oh, I don't remember what it was. Okay. Now, let's say you're going to install it for a daily driver that you use all the day. That's, that's fine. All the time. That's fine. Now, try to protect it from the sun. The way you do that from the sun is... You could get one of those, um, I think it's a windshield protector, those those gray ones, I don't know what they're called, or a sun protector, UV protector. You know those gray things that go inside, inside, of your, in, inside of your car, like inside, on the outside of the windshield? You could use one of those, but remember, the film is outside, but you have to put it in the outside of it. So you will put it in the outside of it, and then you will have to put a, what's it called, bell, bell um, I forgot a velcro. I think it's like something velcro. You could put that. You could put the the the, the silver thing here, the protector, on top of your windshield, and then put the velcro whatever around your side mirrors, back to the to the gray um, protector, right? Like loop it. So you 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 glue it to your thing, and then so we'll have uh, you'll come back, loop it to your um, side mirror. And put it back on top of it if you do that to both sides here and there your thing might not fly away depends i mean i don't know where you live but it might not fly away and when the sun hits it it's, it's gonna it's gonna be super protected that's one way of doing it that's just one one of the ways that i that i thought about it other ways i don't know you will protect it from the outside and i hopefully won't fly because it will be a little bit looped from both of the mirrors is it a hustle to do every day? Eh, it's up to you. Do you want to really protect it or not? Um, yeah, that was just the only way that I thought of how to protect it. If you're driving it every day and just leaving it in the sun 24-7. Like, yes, you need that. If you're going to have it outside, if you don't have a garage or whatever. So my final thoughts. Oh, by the way, I'm going to go get this guy replaced right now. I have an appointment about in about 45 minutes. So uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the shop. We're gonna well, I'm gonna remove it now. We're gonna remove the film from this one. You have to remove it because sometimes they want to charge you a little bit extra to removing the, the film. So I'm gonna remove the film, take it to the shop, and get it reinstalled. Um, I'll show you the video once we come back. Another video on how it looks after after I do it again. So it's gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the second time on, on the Kia. So 2017. But uh, anyways, guys, well, that's pretty much it. Um, do recommend it. Just make sure you don't leave your car in the sun all the time or in rain or snow. 8,000 miles, two years and a half. One year and a half, 125,000 miles. Oh, one more thing. If uh, I left something out, any questions that you might have, just write them down in the comments. I'll go ahead uh, and tell you guys. Okay, one, one more thing about taking care of it. <clears throat> don't take it to the car wash, to those automatic car wash. Don't take it there. Because what, what happens is, I don't know I don't know how to take care about this, guys. So I learned the hard way. You get a lot of scratches. Like, uh, I know you guys can't see, but 
you get a lot of scratches going like up instead of the windshield like side to side you get a whole bunch of going up and down and that's from the from the things that is washing your cars it's just it's bad because they have a lot of metal shims on it because you know construction workers go and wash their trucks and all kinds of stuff so it's gonna be bad for you it's just gonna get more scratch so just hand wash take it to your car wash hand wash people or uh pressure washer guys and they'll wash it that's no problem with that um yeah that's pretty much it so like i said any questions leave them down there and i'll go ahead and i'll go ahead and answer them